As you can probably tell, I don't have a very good command of French, but what I can do is show you some updates on what the team called Tactical Collective is doing to bring Squad Mod France to reality. To put it simply, Squad Mod France is a series of projects that aims to bring new weapons, kits, vehicles and is also working on a couple of new maps. I'm going to be providing a recap for their work in the last three months as well as sharing some dev resources which range from screenshots to short clips of some of the features that they're working on. So the team that's currently at Squad Mod France has been working on it since March last year. Some of the other things that you've seen in development have actually been in track for two to three years. The team was very clear to me that they also want to introduce three different eras of the French army, which is why you see a mix of different types of equipment. Initially, development started using 2010 and 2018 assets, and the team also will consider a 2025 era. My initial reaction to that is I haven't seen any other faction undergo that process in squad, but uh, yeah, it'll be really exciting to watch this space and see how that develops. In terms of what to expect for weapons, French will be using the FAMAS. That includes any respective variations, including different attachments and scopes. They will also be getting the HK416, as well as the 417 for the Marksman class. FAMAS is really exciting. It is an absolute monster in other games. So the only thing I really worry about that isn't how many people you can kill, but like the amount of ammo that the French team will burn through in one particular round of squad. Worth pointing out in the screenshots that there are different attachments for the same variation of weapon, so we could see a situation like what the Middle East Alliance did. On top of that, you also have sneak peeks of the AT4 for anti-tank, new custom animations for the combat engineer kit, which has mines and C4, so a lot of work has gone into kind of making sure that that's really good quality. A lot of work has also recently been done on developing emplacements. So here we see the Milan, which is an alternative to the Cornet and Toe from the other factions and squad. You've also got kind of retextures of grenades and different models for things like radios. We also got live demonstrations of the HK417, the Mini Me, and finally the FRF2 sniper rifle. The British faction's actually been retextured as a placeholder to show off the examples of the type of kits they could be wearing, but the team is still developing and finalizing what the current faction would look like. While I show some faction models in the background, I'm also going to be playing some French dialogue, which has been a focus for the team in the last quarter. Connection établie, en attente d'ordre, mon commandant. Commandant, votre place est contestée. Tir en cours, terminé. Pour information, l'objectif est en train d'être sécurisé. On a pris la position. Continuons. Affirmatif. Drone prêt. Inbound. Moving on to vehicles, the mod will offer iconic vehicles such as the Leclerc tank. Really great to see that, you know, the faction has something the equivalent of an Abrams or a Leopard or a T-72. So very excited to see how that plays out. Additionally, you have moderate and light armor vehicles as well, which are quite similar to things like LAVs, um, Strikers, BTRs, that sort of tier. The team also wants to create different camouflage patterns depending on the environment. So expect things like snow, desert, woodland, but also camos like United Nations. 
If you ever wonder what the map Fallujah, Narva, Manic 5 and Scorpo have in common, it's that they're actually based on real world locations, which you can just hover over in Google Maps. Tactical Collective is actually developing two maps. So one will be influenced by the Colmar region, which is next to the French-German border. In terms of setting, the idea was that the devs wanted a situation where there is an invasion from Russia, for example, against Blue Four forces. A lot of emphasis has been put on forests. It would be nice to see another European-based map. So really great to see something that's going to be a lot closer to home than a map like Gorodok or Yehorivka. On the other hand, another exciting map is going to be set on a different continent entirely. While we see a lot of maps being set in Central Asia, Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and some in North America, you rarely see anything on Africa. The team is actually building a map from Mali. If we take a minute to review the screenshot of the mini map from the devs, you see that there's quite a lot of variety. So in the north side of the map, you have a lot of dense city areas. Once you go to the center of the map and look towards the outskirts, you then have a variety of the environment. So lots of vegetation, water against backdrops of desert. And then as you go to the south and kind of look around the borders of the map, you also get to see these kind of like secondary towns and villages on the outside. The screenshots that I'm showing you now are from the south side, so very much the outskirt villages. And it's that kind of variety which is quite exciting to see because, um, you know, if you're going to be playing in a squad event or you want to kind of mess around on SDK, I think it's that kind of variety that will really keep people coming back and playing the map again and again. And as with all these things, do always bear in mind that these are works in development and are subject to change. So in terms of initial impressions and kind of reviewing all of the work that's taken place in recent months, as well as the previous year, I think I'm very excited to see how this faction's come together as one. I think overall, a really, really distinct faction with its own unique identity, which is great. The fact that they're also not only developing weapons, vehicles, but are actually focusing on maps to unveil the faction on is also really huge i think and credit where it's deserved i think the best way to support these guys is to join the discord uh, kind of get involved in the conversations and hopefully we will see some kind of movement um, in the future as it stands tactical collective is also ready to unveil this mali map and we'll be doing so through a play test very excited to see how that pans out so definitely check out the discords and get involved in the conversations that's it for me today guys thanks a lot big shout out to marquis and medinar and uh yeah stay safe wash your hands cheers